Hey guys, it's Boston Fan, and I just wanted to start off another show it off Sunday. I'm kind of displaying my quote unquote best Red Sox autographs. Now, I'm a completist collector for the Red Sox, so I'm going after the entire roster of all time 1901 to whenever I end collecting, I guess. So, right now, 1901 to 2020. Um, and so I split my show it off into kind of three things. So you've got general Red Sox legends that aren't hard to get, like Tony Canigliaro. You know, if you search long enough, you will find an autograph. That's a PSA certified cut signature. I'm just going to kind of lean them back there. Um, and then you've got, after that, you've got the true legends. Now, one true legend isn't hard to find. You just have to be willing to pay a couple hundred dollars. That's Ted Williams, so I'm not including him in the True Legends. In the True Baseball Legend book, there are four main Red Sox that if you're going to be a completist, you have to get. You have to have Babe Ruth, who's probably the biggest of all the bigs. Then there's pitcher Cy Young. There is outfielder Tris Speaker. And there's first baseman Jimmy Fox. Okay, so Ted Williams doesn't make that cut only because, although he is up in that echelon with those guys, um, you can find his autograph pretty easily. He signed tons, and they're fairly inexpensive compared to the others. So, I have three of the four big guys. The one that I do not have, well, you'll see. So the first one I have to show you, this one might be hard to see, it's old, it's on an old program. See, it's Tris Speaker on the Indians. And if you can see, it's pretty faded, so one day maybe I will, but there's a signature right there, Tris Speaker. It says up here, to somebody, best wishes, Tris Speaker. Um, and it came JSA certified. Um, so I have that framed up really simply. Um, just dug it out of the box for you guys. So he, of course, is one of those legends. If you're looking for like a signed cut or signed index card, you're looking at about $1,000, maybe a little bit less now. Um, but I was able to pick that up fairly cheap several years ago. Um, next up is a signed index card of, can I get it in there? Jimmy Fox, double X. So it's not the greatest signature, but for the price, it was pretty good. PSA certified. Um, you can see he signed it in blue pen. There's the double X right there. Um, certainly an awesome addition, not the easiest to get. Um, you're, it's going to run you 500 or more. So he would be the second, what I call, big legend. And then the legend of all legends, other than Ruth, Cy Young. So I have a cut Cy Young autograph certified by PSA DNA. Um, it's a cut that somebody glued down to a Hall of Fame postcard, which I don't mind. It looks kind of nice displayed. Um, but he is probably the toughest to get, I think, out of anyone. He's probably tougher than Ruth, though Ruth will cost you more money. Because I think Ruth signed a tremendous amount. And one day I think I will own a Ruth, but I'm not there yet. So those are my three of my four top tier Red Sox legends. I got Jimmy Fox, Tris Speaker, Cy Young. Not to mention, we'll, we'll let him peek out. I've got, I actually have four Ted Williams autographs. Um, and Tony C, of course, is, you know, because of his untimely death at a young age, pretty sought after by Red Sox fans. And then I also pulled out four signatures that wouldn't meet legendary status. Um, they had interesting careers maybe but they're pretty hard to come by and they are pretty expensive if you come by it so the first one wasn't as expensive as the others and if you can see it eh, it shows up nicely that's Earl Webb so it's a cut of Earl Webb now Earl Webb was is and still is the all-time doubles leader for a season he had 67 doubles in 1932 or 1933 um, came slabbed when I bought it, uh, I think I paid only 125 for it. Um, and it's really, it was the only one in the condition that I wanted slabbed at the time I was searching, and I'd searched for a couple months. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. And again, he's one of those more random guys, didn't put together a huge career. Um, who do I show next? All right, another one that's pretty hard to come by, but might not be worth as much. 
And this is a Major League Baseball Players Association check for Win Remerschwa. Now, he was out of baseball pretty much after um, 1980. He's in the 1981 top set. He's one of the harder cards to get signed in that set. Um, went back to his home in the Netherlands, then had some health problems. He's still alive, but he's unable to sign. And so I picked this up. And it is, of course, endorsed by Wen Remerschwa. So, tough autograph to get. Um, he put his passport number there. Um, now, of course, if you're looking for his 81 Tops card, good luck. You're going to pay $300 for that if you can find it. This one cost me a little bit less. So I suppose there are more cuts and stuff out there. I decided to keep the check whole. I don't have a case long enough for it, so I do my best to protect it. Um, but this is a check from the Players Union. Marvin Miller is a stamp signature or printed signature. It's not his actual signature. That's pretty would be pretty cool to have it. But certainly for the 1980s, he's probably the hardest autograph for the Red Sox to find. So I was lucky to find this check years ago. And then, let's see what else. So another player who's pretty tough to come by, pretty popular in this, I don't know if you can see it, it's Harry Aganis. So he died during the 1955 season. Um, he was a football star at Boston University and kind of legendary in the Boston area. He was a huge um, athlete, two or three sport athlete. Um, and then he signed with the Red Sox. Um, played parts of two seasons, then he got sick. Um, and I don't remember what he died from exactly. Uh, something with the lungs, I believe, or maybe an embolism, but I don't remember. Anyway, he died very young, so his autographs are quite rare. Um, I'm sure he signed some in college, and of course some while he was a big leaguer. Um, his 55 tops card is really sought after. I think I've seen one or two of them signed. Um, I'll never be able to afford it. Um, but I saw this, I had some extra money for I don't know why, and so I jumped on it. So here again, it's, it's a pencil cut, but still, if it's a collection, um, and it's one that if you're going to collect the Red Sox, it's going to be hard for you to find, so you've got to search it out. And the other one, the last one I want to show, is on a multi-signed index card. So this was an old senator, so we have got like Joe Cronin there, uh, Hall of Famer Heine Manoush here on the bottom. Jack Russell played for the Red Sox at some point, but I bought it, and this came from a dealer, I can't think of the name, who is very reputable, uh, West Coast, if I think of it, I'll come to it, but I bought it because of this bottom autograph, and if you don't know who that is, that's Mo Berg, and Mo Berg has this interesting history about him. Um, he claimed, or there's some evidence, that he was acting as a spy for the U.S. government. Some people think that's overblown, and they just used some of the film that he took in Japan, or contacted him about some stuff. He was, by all accounts, an oddball player, um, spoke several languages, chose in his free time to read and not drink, so you know, other players found him a little bit odd for a ball player. Um, how much he helped the Allies, how much he actually was a spy is definitely up to per interpretation, but he definitely has an infamous air, infamous, infamous air about him, and his signature is not easy to find. Um, I was lucky to find it again by a very reputable dealer. I wish I could remember the name. If I do for the description, I'll put it in there. Um, so I picked that up and added just general other autographs to it. I already had, you know, I have several Joe Cronin autographs, three I think. Um, but the Moberg. So Moberg is a pretty hard autograph to come by. So that's another big one for my collection. So here's a bunch of, whoopsie, a bunch of difficult autographs if you're going to collect the Red Sox. And every team will have that. They'll have the Legends, the Cy Youngs, the Chess Speakers, the Jimmy Foxes that are going to cost you a tremendous amount of money. I can't imagine what the going after a Yankees all-time roster would cost you. And then you're going to have the smaller, lesser-known players. Harry Aganis, Mo Berg, Wynn Remerschwa, uh, Earl Webb, that are tougher to come by um, just based on rarity, not necessarily based on what they accomplished on the field. And if you're going into a project like that, you've got to be prepared to pay a lot of money, both for the ones that certainly deserve it based on their on-field exploits, but also those that just weren't able to sign very much. They're going to cost you just as much, maybe not, maybe even more. I think I paid the same for Mo Berg that I did for Jimmy Fox. I'm 
fairly certain. And I think Aganis, Berg, and Fox were all around the same amount of money. And actually, Cy Young wasn't much more expensive. Um, and that's just the way it goes. And if you're going to buy into an all-time team collection, you got to buy into the fact that the legends and the rares are going to cost similar amounts of money. Um, that's it for Show It Off Sunday. I'm just showing off some of my more rare and harder Red Sox uh, autographs to get. Um, for my next Show It Off Sunday, I might show you some of my favorite pieces. Um, in digging through all my bins to find the Trist speaker, I found a couple other things that gave me good memories, so maybe I'll show you those off. Um, they were once hanging on my wall in my sports room until my son was born, and my sports room went bye-bye, and now just lives in my memory. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'd love to know in the comments if you guys are all-time collectors of any teams, be it tops cards or autographs or whatever. Um, I'd love to hear about that. Um, it's a little long video, but I wanted to show you I had a lot of pieces to show. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and until I speak to you again, please stay healthy.